I watched the babies grow up from kindergarten to sixth grade, they done moved on to the ninth grade, they done graduated to the twelfth grade. Some of them comes back to the school and they become teachers. Some of them brought their babies back and now I'm feeding their babies. The kids don't want just you open up a can of vegetables and throw them in a pot, put some hot water you know, to steam them up and figure that's food. That's not food. With that little bit of money, you can only give a kid a certain amount of portion. Four ounces is not going to do a child of 160 pounds any good. You know, and then you have to draw back on this because you don't have enough of this to make this right. You know, it's, it's really cheating the children out of their meal. I've seen plenty of kids come to me, Miss Leslie, I'm still hungry. I haven't eaten since I left school on Friday. I mean, and you know these children are not going to get another meal until they come back to school on Monday. And that's the hardest part of all, to know that you can't even give this kid the proper portion. You can only give them what they tell you to give them, knowing that this kid is not going to get anything extra once they leave that schoolhouse. Me, myself, I have my own grandchildren in the school. And I can't see them sitting there starving, let alone seeing somebody else's child starve. So I look at these babies as they are my own. You know, I, I just can't find it in my heart to tell a baby, you know, you're not going to eat because your parents didn't give you lunch money. It's not fair to the child. It's got to be a better way for these babies. You know, they got to have more food in their stomach. You know, they can't leave that schoolhouse hungry in the morning and then come back, I mean, afternoon, and then come back knowing that they can't even concentrate because they can't wait to get to breakfast or wait to get back to lunch again.